The 2016 budget had been tossed back and forth between the presidency and legislators. Trice, President Muhammadu Buhari returned the budget to the National Assembly, refusing to sign it. He cited budget padding. Padding and alterations aren't new to Nigeria's budget, and the racketeers have gotten away with it for years. It's the first budget under President Buhari's watch, and he's vowed to ensure nothing will pass without thorough scrutiny. But economic watchers believe the budget racket is more complex than fixing numbers at the National Assembly. To me, it's like leaving the major problem and trying to solve the symptoms of the problem. The problem is still there. The problem should have been, uh, uh, let me say, the problem is a fundamental one that should have been looked into right from when they started the budget planning. But they failed to do that. They put the document out. Now that the budget has been signed, analysts believe this would give a boost to economic activities in the country. Once a budget is passed, money flows. Ministries have their own allocations. They embark on their projects. Contractors get paid. Money flows around the economy. It has a multiplier effect on the economy, on the GDP, on the GNI. President Buhari had in December last year presented what's described as Nigeria's most ambitious budget ever, over $30 billion. The signing of the budget is coming nearly five months into the financial year. Several government projects grounded to a halt and civil servants in other states have gone for months without pay. The delay underlines that fighting deeply rooted corruption could at times hurt, but the president has just proven he will not budge the pain that comes with it. Kelechi Amekalam, CCTV Abuja, Nigeria.